Hi, I'm Clyde, and welcome to Basic Works. Today, we're going to hang this fairly good sized mirror above the dresser on these VOG walls in this mobile home. Let's do it. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to put some protective blocks on top of the dresser or cabinet, whatever you're mounting this over top of. I like using these shipping foam pads. They work great. So when you get some with shipping material, keep them. They come in handy. First, we're going to lay this mirror down on these protective pads here so we can do some measuring. So we're going to just bring it like this, walk it back toward the wall, center it on this dresser. And how we're going to do that is we're going to measure from each edge of the dresser into the frame of the mirror. And we're going to set it exactly where it's the same distance from here to the edge and here to the edge. That way we know it's perfectly centered. And uh, if for some reason your cat wants to help, they come in handy also. They're good at measuring stuff or at least they think they are. And so I take the tape measure and I measure from this edge and I got nine and three quarters to here and nine and three quarters to here, measuring from the edge of the frame to the edge of the dresser. We measured from the wall to this edge of the mirror, say it's 50 and three quarter inches. And then we come up here to about where the mirror is gonna hang. We measure to that wall 50 and three quarters, and we put a post-it note here to mark it. You could use anything. You could tape a piece of paper there and mark it with a pencil, whatever's easiest for you to do. I just happen to have these post-it notes and they work fine for this. Now I know where this edge of this mirror is gonna be when I put it on the wall. Now, next step, we're gonna sit the mirror back up like this and what I want to do now is make sure I have this mirror in the right position up and down on the wall. So I'm going to take something, sit it here and space this up until I have it exactly where I want it. In this case, I know it needs to come up a foot or so. I'm going to sit a cardboard box here and try that first. I happen to have cardboard boxes. I store stuff in the shed and everything else. Take a cardboard box. And I'm going to sit it here on the dresser, lift the mirror up and slide this in to hold the mirror in place till I get it exactly where I want it. Now that gives me an idea of what I need for spacing. I can use this post-it note that I put on the wall to line this edge of my mirror up with it. Now, once I have the right height, which this is looking pretty good with where I want it. If I needed it a little higher, I would just take a shim like these packaging materials that you need to keep and place that under there and try it and get it to exact height that I want it. Cause that's where I'm going to end up putting the anchors to secure it to the wall. Take another post-it note and I'm going to line it up with the top edge of this and that's going to mark the top edge of my mirror. Okay, so the way this mirror hangs is it has a hook here mounted to the frame and it has a hook on this side mounted to the frame. And the idea is you have to get your screws into the wall where they perfectly center in these little D-ring hooks. So we know we measured from the wall to the edge of this for the mirror and that was 50 and three quarters. And when I measure this from the edge to the hook here, it's another one and three quarter inches. So I add this one and three quarter inches here to that 50 and three quarter inches there. And that gives me the distance to the center of my hook from that wall. So I measured from this wall out here, 52 and a half. And I knew I had to come down nine and a half from the top of the mirror to hit the center of the hook. So I measure from this, which I marked as the top, down to here, nine and a half. So that's the dimensions where we're going to drill the hole for this picture hanger on this side of the mirror. 
Okay, so we've made our hole in the wall here in the VOG with the 5 8 inch wood bit. That's going to give us enough room for the entire toggle part of this anchor to get through to go behind the wall and expand. So what we're using to fasten to this wall, which is VOG in the mobile home, there's nothing behind the wall. It's just the thickness of the VOG itself. So we're going to use a toggle bolt. Okay, so this is going to be an example now. Of a, we're using a piece of drywall, but VOG is going to act the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill our hole with this 5 8 inch wood bit. So we placed our washers on this side where the head of the bolt is, where we're going to screw it into the wall. And we have our toggle at this side. What we do now is collapse the toggle and we insert it into the hole that we drilled. So we're gonna insert that like this. Now looking at the back of the wall, as the toggle bolt comes through the wall, it's going to expand. And when you start to tighten the screw, it's gonna pull against the back of the drywall. So you'll see as I tighten the screw into the toggle bolt, it's going to walk around a little bit, but it's going to find a point where it's going to grab a hold as I start to snug up the screw from the outside of the wall. So you can see the gap here between the lock nut here and the screw head. This gap is where your picture hanger D-ring is going to slip over the screw head and rest in that gap. Okay, so we have our one wall anchor installed. Now what we're gonna do is, you can see here, I just taped a piece of uh, printer paper so I can mark it because I'm gonna measure from this D-ring hook to this D-ring hook this way from the very center of them to the center of this one. Get my exact measurement and then I'm gonna measure from the center of this screw over to here and mark my exact distance. Okay, so with our line level hooked onto our line, we bring it straight across here. We pull it nice and tight. And what we're looking at is the bubble in the center of this level. Once that bubble is perfectly centered, then you know your level. You take your pencil and you make a mark here on this side. That'll tell you where to put that anchor in the up and down direction. Okay, and that's the hole for our second anchor. Now we repeat exactly what we did with this and we put it on this side. Now with the two anchors securely fastened into the wall, tightened down with the lock nut, etc., we hang the two D-rings, which are on the back of the mirror, over top of those two protruding screw heads that we have. Okay, now we removed the packing paper and everything off of the mirror. Everything's installed. Because we used the toggle bolts with the lock nut and the screw head, it will bring the mirror front away from the wall. That's not a bad thing. That allows it to clear any battens that you may have on your VOG in your mobile home. That completes how to install the mirror. I hope this video helped you out. Leave questions or comments below. Remember, hit that like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.